YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Buddha back in the building for another Last Claudia guide video. One that I think will stand the test of time and hopefully help out a lot of players that are currently new because we're going to go over the different ways that I use to fast level my units. Now, these are going to span from uh, general ways you can do this to limited sources, but you want to make sure to watch the entire video so you know when those limited things come around, they might usurp a little priority than your typical level grinding routine. So just some facts for you to know. Getting a unit from level 1 to 100 is going to take 15,500,000 experience. And then from levels 100 to 110, it's going to take another 8 million flat experience. So all together, you're looking at 20. 3,500,000 experience from level 1 to 110, which is quite a lot, but we do have many great ways to achieve that in a shorter amount of time. Another thing to know for running a party when you're leveling is that the experience does get split up evenly amongst the amount of party members that you're bringing, excluding the support unit. So let's say you run a quest that gives you 300,000 experience. If you have three units on your team, they'll each get 100,000. If you only run one unit, that one unit will get all 300,000 experience. So I always recommend to uh, try and run the least amount of units as possible. Run one unit that you're focusing on. Let them get that surplus, that total amount of experience so that you can get them to your end goal quicker. With all that out of the way, let's talk about the first order of business. That is involving the training gates mission. If we go into the events tab and the training section, I'll scroll down. The first thing you're going to see is this special training gate. This is something they recently made, an everyday thing that you can do three times a day. My recommendation for these training gates, make sure to run the hardest difficulty that you can, uh, God in particular. And what I want you guys to do is filter your support friend list to Knights, click OK, and look for maxed out Granadoses. Now, if you're running certain quests, which we'll talk about, Beast Hunter's OK, but I personally like to run a Granados with, let's say, a UR arc skill that can wipe the board completely and then run your one unit that you're trying to level, right? With a Granados that can beat the stage solo, you'll ensure that your unit doesn't have to be able to perform at this level that's required for taking out this final stage, but yet yields you the most amount of experience as long as you have a friend support that can carry you. The reason Granados is such an essential support friend unit to run is because, like I mentioned, the support does not steal any experience from your party, and he comes with a skill called Fierce Instructor, giving a plus 100% experience boost. For quests that you want to run manually, this is so necessary. It is such a boon to your experience leveling. Doubles the amount of XP that you get from these training gate stages. Uh, and it doesn't sap any of that away from the uh, unit that you're trying to level yourself. Three times a day, this is an incredible thing that you can do daily uh, to work on whatever unit. It will cost you uh, one orb, so three orbs a day if you do if you are running this consistently. However, we have seen promos where this gets discounted to zero orbs a day, which is great. Another thing that I want to call out is the permanent training gate, which is not a bad way to level units at all as well. So let's say you're power leveling a unit, you don't care about whatever events are going on, you just want to focus on leveling your unit, you do your three special training gates a day, this god stage will also provide a very nice amount of XP to your unit. Granted, you're running this Granados support. You can run it without the Granados support and still get a decent amount of experience with these stages, but when you're literally doubling that amount of XP, it's speeding up that level process by double, right? We're talking about leveling units fast in the way that I like to level my units quickly. Now, what I do want to mention, because it is a current limited quest that's going on right now, the only time that I wouldn't recommend jumping on these two training gates first is when you have the training field up and going. This gives you a select amount of quests that you can choose from, including this nightmare stage, very similar to the special training gate. It's available five times a day. It does cost one orb each, but this quest yields you by far the most amount of experience found in a single clear of the stage, as long as you're doing 
this Granados friend support, right? Whenever you see a Granados, try and get them on your friends list is what I recommend because it helps this EXP leveling process so, so, so much. I think if with a Granados support at base, this training field nightmare stage gives you 900,000 experience. And then if that unit is a bonus unit, as you can see, uh, Shift Nero is here, he gets double that. So each clear, if I were to do this five times, is 1.8 million experience. As we went over, that is a huge fraction of XP needed when you, and unit wants 23 and a half million XP, right? Five runs of this with a Granados can get you to level 100 to 110 in the first five runs of this nightmare stage. So absolutely crazy when this is around. And then same kind of concept if you run out of this, but you're tr still trying to get to level 110, this training field hard mode can also give you a good amount of XP, although it costs three orbs. So I wouldn't encourage doing this probably before you take care of the uh, special training gate that's available in the main training tab. And just for the record, no other XP boosting items or skills stack on top of Granados' Fierce Instructor. So that's why it's so important just to run him as a friend support. You don't have to worry about anything that you're building with. It's just getting that friend support locked in. And ideally a Granados that can clear those harder stages so you're getting the most amount of XP. The next strategy I want to talk about is the traditional auto farming, two stages in particular. Since we are talking about character leveling, unit leveling, the most efficient stage for a good auto farm uh, with that leveling priority is going to be chapter 1-6-8, Heart of the Temple, and ideally in hard mode, right? Hard mode, you will have to grind up your normal story and then follow it up with a second grind of hard mode stages to get there. But obviously, as you can imagine, hard mode stages are better than their normal stages in what they provide reward wise. If the question comes to your mind, what about God mode? Well, God mode is not going to be a better stage to run. One, because we are extremely limited in the amount of God mode stages that are available. It doesn't even go up to Heart of the Temple currently. Uh, it doesn't even go up to the other stage that we're going to talk about. But God stages are very, very HP spongy quests. And the thing with auto farms here is that they are one wave stages. This allows you to clear them quickly with the right setup and the more amount of stage cycles you can do is what allows you to accumulate that EXP quickly. So of course we have to talk about the goat of this stage, Maja. Here he is right here. I'm going to include this Maja auto farm build in the Buddha Gang Discord, so make sure to join that if you haven't yet. And the only thing I do want to call out, since you are not going to be running a friend support reliably for XP boosting, it is going to be important that you can get XP up too, right? This is plus 35%, not quite as OP as Fierce Instructor. However, it does give a very, very nice boost when you're running auto farm stages back to back to back. Uh, of course, if you're beginning, uh, XP up is very much more available, but as long as you can start using these XP ups in your auto farm more quickly rather than later, uh, you will be seeing a better XP return, obviously. Keep in mind that the stage experience is getting split up, so ideally you'll just want to have your one auto farm unit and the other unit that you're trying to level. Click on your auto farm, set the settings that you'd like, hit run, and then we will see how it goes, how easy this Maja clears this stage and what this auto farm is supposed to look like. Of course, you're getting all the other benefits of the auto farm stage here. Uh, item drops, arc ether farming, if that's what you're going after. Here Maja immediately starts to proc Starburst because some of these enemies are weak to light and then you literally just sit there and watch the screen explode. And that is going to be your efficient heart of the temple auto farm. There's not really any other units that can do this. A couple other units can uh, two-tap it with certain spells. Uh, 9 to 11 seconds is usually the clear time it takes, uh, but the total cycle time is somewhere like around a minute. There is no unit that can truly replicate the Maja auto farm here without sacrificing like another party slot uh, in order to get the amount of DPS needed. So it just cuts your XP farm uh, by a lot when you start splitting it into thirds, right? So. Maja pretty essential there, that's why he is very, very highly recommended, one of his utility benefits on your account. 
But the second stage we're going to talk about, and I want to give a huge shout out to a video Tweaks posted, something you guys will probably hear a lot if you're just starting and have already heard a lot if you have already started this game, is IGC-3, Imperial Guard Commander uh, 3 right here, Chapter 1-3-10. He has a video going over this and all all of the different benefits of auto farming this stage along with team comps that you can use multiple solutions to get a very efficient good auto farm including v who is available right now no excuse to pick him up he is the fastest igc3 clearer and of course as we discussed you want your auto farm to be quick so that you can get those benefits quickly i am strategically waiting to pick up v so i can't showcase him off yet but what i do have available and what i use is guardian angel lukiel she does need uh some other skills some more limited skills than like i'd say maja needs for his auto farm of course you can see i have xp up to here phone booth very necessary for guardian angel lukiel specifically i'll include this build in the booty gang discord as well for anyone who's interested in here but phone booth very easily accessible right now during the dmc collab i do feel bad for anyone watching after this collab ends however just know it is needed in order to do this efficiently and then what i do like to give my auto farm unit that's going to be clearing the stage is bangle of master thief for that 10% uh, chance to steal items upon defeating the enemies. We know Guardian Angel Lukiel is going to be killing all of the mobs in this stage. And why that is important, I'll back out here, is so that you can look at this drop table. Along with fast clears for the uh, experience gained from the stage, you also have a chance of getting great power potions and the normal power potions, which can also supplement experience uh, to your units after the fact. We're going to jump into training pots and talking about the special ones uh, available to a unit after this. Of course, if you're focusing on leveling one unit, don't forget that that experience gets split. So always in your best interest to run that one unit without uh, taking up all the party spaces. So same thing. Go ahead and run this stage. You can see what it's supposed to look like. Guardian Angel Luke Yule also holding a top spot uh, for quick IGC3 clears. We're going to load into a battle and tap that s3 for me boom everything is dead and the quest continue will continue to cycle including a lot of thieving uh abilities right running chrome also works very well here you can see the xp acquired between two units and that is the uh, farming process for igc3 segueing from auto farming since we talked about it already the last thing i do want to talk about is xp potions and specifically uh, some special ones that you will not see very often, but when they're available, this is going to be your fastest way to level a unit. Let's just click Shift Nero since that's the last unit I leveled up. You click this little plus button next to a unit's level and it takes you to the Enhancement tab, XP Increase. This is where you can find those great power potions and regular ones that we talked about farming from IGC3. But if you click this special tab, you can see a list of these special potions including the rainbow potion levels a unit straight to 100 right you don't need the enhancement materials you don't need anything besides these potions to get these units to these benchmark levels of course we have the crimson gold and blue level up to 80 60 and 40 respectively but it's this rainbow potion that people look at with their eyes open wide since it can get you to that level 100 mark very easily now uh, levels in this game are a bit taboo because they don't directly relate to a unit's performance like a lot of players would intuitively expect but what level 100 is is a gateway into the fifth enhancement which does unlock a lot more of your ability board and usually fleshes out a unit to that end game potential uh, so whenever you get these they will occasionally give them for login bonuses you can get any of these as a random drop as a guild login bonus every day there's little sparkles around the unit click there and you do have a chance to snag one of these potions that's how i've gotten the ones you see on my screen but they did just give us three rainbow potions throughout the last six weeks of summer so they do like to hand these out during celebrations the half year anniversary is coming up from when i post this video so we'll most likely see one or two of these from that and of course you don't want to forget about using these when you have them so that it just speeds up that unit progression you don't have to waste time 
doing it other ways that we talked about in this video. But guys, that's gonna do it for your boy Buddha's ways of leveling quickly. A unit from 1 to 110, the different strategies that I use. I kind of tried to go from the uh, less limited to more limited strategies, starting with the training gates. These are gonna be accessible all the time. Training field starts to get a little more limited. Of course, when we're talking about the auto farm stages, that is going to be limited to what you have on your account, what units you have built up, because it only gets better when you can do it more quickly, and usually you need a little more tools and resources to do those efficient auto farms as we discussed. Check out Tweaks' video discussing IGC3. I think he's going to do an in-depth one on Heart of the Temple as well, so make sure to subscribe over on his channel. And then, of course, those rainbow potions and other potions are a bit more limited, but when they are available. Those are going to be the fastest ways to uh, speed up your unit progression. I hope this helped you out. If it did, hit that like button. Consider subscribing and turn on those bell notifications so you don't let the algorithm tell you when to watch my videos. Shout out, shout out, shout out to the Buddha fam. For those of you who smashed that join button, it's keeping your boy Buddha off the streets for $2 a month. I cannot thank you enough. So consider joining today. Click that join button here your boy buddha's singing voice and with all that being said y'all know what we say work hard play hard see you in the next video